Come on, leap onto the frame. I Quickly. can't leap. Subtly. Good morning, everybody. We have a self cause problem. Damp. Really bad damp. Today I was going to do this wall, but we've had to do a change of plan because it's a fabulous day outside. So what we're going to do? We're going to go outside and we'll show you what we're going to do. Oh, bear with. We, well that's me, made a silly mistake. When the orangery came down. God, is that the first one this year, lad? Yes, yeah. <laughs> I didn't put a temporary gust, rain gutter up to take the water away from the house. Uh, the water's been, we had some torrential rain these last few days. The water's been cascading down the side of the house and in through the, the gaps in the mortar. But today we're going to make a temporary repair to the gutter. This was going to be my job, but I think that's going to come first today, yeah, hasn't it? And possibly take, take this old pipe down at the same time. Right. Perfect day way. for it. Yeah. Right. Press it down. You can see the scaffold tower is being put to good use. One of the second hand bargains that I got a couple of months ago, £100. And this will be exciting because it'll be Jill's first time going up. Uh, she's there, she's busy working. She doesn't know yet what's ahead of her. I haven't told her that she's the one that's going to be doing the work. Which she should be aware of. Because she does all of the work. I'm just there to help her these days. We were so lucky with the weather that day. It's one of the last days of the English summer. I look at this video and I look back to a year ago. And I can move much better, much easier than I can. I still have a few bad days with the side effects, but overall, I'm a very lucky man. Just to be aware, Jill is not the best friend of heights. And I thought, there's no way I'm going to go up there first, just in case it falls down. <laughs> I'm really scared of heights. I'm really bad. It doesn't help that it just wobbles. It's, I promise you, it's safe and secure. Stop it, why are you saying I said ish. I don't know how to you get on the top there. You just keep on climbing. Climb up the ladder. Okay, what do I do here? I don't know. No, it's going to be put. You put it on that wood, that's fine. best we swap but I'll put another panel on the end there. Okay. So you've got something to grab on. Yeah. Do you want to come down then or? Or do you want to pass a panel up to me? No. Why? No I'm I'm alright on here. Could do with one at the side as well to be honest. But I am okay here. I'm I'm scared of it's that step bit that I find really scary.
I'll let you make me a <laughs> cup of tea now. And then we can start work. Okay. Oh. As soon as tea was over, she ran up the ladder. I was up there as well, not quite as fast. But together we, we started off by clearing out the gutter that was there and taking down some other bits and pieces. The view up there is abs absolutely incredible, much different to what we thought it would be. And Jill said, maybe we should think about having a living roof on top of the orangery when it finally gets built. And I thought to myself, oh no, where she's standing now would be the roof of the orangery. Can't imagine how much that would cost to get that done. But she is right. It would be a very good idea. But anyway, back, back to the gutter. And as you can see, um, I've got some gutter pipe that was left lying around from, from, the, from the demolition of the orangery. Using it now to extend the gutter out a little bit. It's not going to be a precision, precision job, but it's going to be a job that will just keep the house a little bit drier until I can get around to buying the, the correct stuff. Also, I'm a little bit worried about standing on the flat roof because I don't know how strong it is. It's old and I'm worried that it may be rotten. But the scaffolding is doing well. And so is Jill. Now that she has some confidence, she looks quite happy up there. All you need to do though is shake the scaffold and the confidence goes away immediately. Some silicone. Keep forgetting everything. We've got the clamps. Now we're just clamping it on. Put a couple of screws in. do the job for the moment. Right, so what we're going to do is the, the, the pipe coming down at an angle, that needs to be supported temporarily. So we'll get a, uh, a long bolt and bolt that up. For the moment, we, we're just shooting the water away from the house. Since we're here, since we haven't got the, the orangery there in place yet, what we'll do is we'll order new guttering to replace the bit along the top yeah. And this piece as well, while the scaffolding's up. Yeah. And then we will and do we'll that. the siding as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that within the next few days. Also, as Jill's mentioned, if you look up there, the, the white plastic siding is all coming away. So we'll need to take that off and see what's behind it. There's a great big hole in the stone up there. Yeah. So there's lots of work to do. But within the next half an hour, at least, we'll have the water sh shooting away from from the house. And then that buys us a few days to, to get the materials and yeah. do the thing properly. Yeah, okay. You look cold, dear. Oh, no, it, it's mid, midday, but it's gone cold. Yeah. So chop behind chop the those trees. trees down. I'll get right on saying, it. I keep saying, I keep saying. Right. Okay. Okay.
Right, so that's Jill down there, as you obviously know. That's the back of Bramble Cottage. Over there is the view that we never knew we had. Down there is a lovely luxury Stop vehicle. Stop it! Stop it! Isn't she gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> and up here is our next challenge. Look, this, this plastic siding here. If you look behind, everything's rotten. Here, there's a great big hole in the stonework. So, and up there will be the same. We definitely want to keep the, the scalloped edge wooding. Sorry, the scalloped edge scallop edged wood. Oh there's a there's another problem there. But we'll we'll order some new guttering and replace that. I won't bother to have this downpipe coming down here. Somehow or other I'll bring it down that corner of the building. But um, yeah, that's Bramble Cottage. Well, I'm certainly glad that we, we temporarily pushed the gutter out like that. Water's falling nicely away from the side of the house. I've just been inside the, the dining room and everything's dry in there. So that was a good temporary measure. Right, so we've got leaking, leaking gutters. Gutter down there, up there is blocked as well. So I'm going to give it a go myself and change the pipes. Right, down pipes blocked yet again. Completely solid. As the rain stops, I'll get up there and replace this. I can't put it off anymore, we've got some more rain due shortly. Gutter's completely blocked up there. I've let the water out of the bottom. I've got to get the ladder and give it a go and see what I can do up there. pipe that's on the angle coming down is completely blocked that's what I've got so far but it's not good enough I need to to take the angular pipe off and clear that So what I'll do for the moment, I've got the saw, I've got a coupler, I shall cut the angle, take the pipe off and then temporarily reconnect it with this and over the weekend I'll replace the whole of the gutter, it's the easiest way, the safest way in the end. Right, 
right, so that, that's unblocked now. It's just started to rain. What I've realized is that the downpipe isn't vertical. So I'll need to drill, put some more brackets up there, put it nice and straight. But that's the job for tomorrow. I may have seen the little scare on the ladder. I'm not afraid of heights, but that ladder was left here when we bought the property. So it's got to be 50 years old. No, probably not. 20, 25 years old. Yeah, it's probably one of the few things that have been properly looked after. It had been hung in the garage, but I wasn't sure how strong it would be. There was no signs of dry rot or, or wet rot. But it takes a little bit of faith to climb up, particularly when I've had a few too many Belgian buns. But it held up. I'm getting soaking wet. I'll finish the video now. And in the next video, you'll see me and Jill replace everything here with new black guttering. We're scheduled for some heavy rain tonight and tomorrow. And at least I know for sure that that it won't be running down the side of the house like it was a few days ago. It'll be going down where it's supposed to, down the pipe and out into the soak away. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.